Come on. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. Huh. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? No. I knew this would help you and your patients. That's good enough for me. Quite admirable. What did you say your name was? Alexios of Sparta. Well met, Alexios of Sparta. What do you need? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. Where should I look for your notes? For Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them, if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... You know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes. Yes. Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Hippocrates notes are well guarded. Why?
whistling. What? What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry, they were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then, you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient. You have my word. There isn't enough time. I need you at Hippocrates' camp. Now. <clears throat> How is he, Hippocrates? Poor, but there's still a chance. 
Did you find my notes? Not quite. Will this do? Who is this? Hippocrates. I I'm sorry, your notes were destroyed, but I have them all in my head. Then it is your duty to help me save this man's life. He'll live. I wish I could say the same for my patient. What patient? Your mysterious friend attacked me while I was in the middle of an operation. It was the only way to get him here in time. While you did save my patient, the other did not deserve their fate. At least we saved one soul today. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. <gasps> Popsy! <laughs>